Sure. So the basic idea behind signaling, and this is a, a simplified version, is that expressions of outrage are thought to be honest signals of underlying character and work by folks like Pat Barkley, Dave Rand, Jill Jordan have shown that people who express outrage in response to moral transgressions are more likely to be trusted by observers than people who don't express outrage. And people who express outrage are actually more trustworthy than people who don't. So outrage expression is, is a, a valid or an honest signal of underlying moral character. And this solves a useful problem for sort of social life in the sense that like we have to decide who to affiliate with and who not to. And we use those signals to make decisions about who we should choose as social partners. So what's important about the signaling perspective on out outrage is that it, it provides an alternative uh, sort of individual selection driven mechanism for how outrage could have evolved. And, and Jill Jordan has evolutionary models showing this um, with data and, and mathematically that if, if you express outrage or you know, if, you, if you punish uncooperative behavior, that's costly to you, but you make up for the cost by boosting your reputation and, and the gains that you get for uh, for being chosen as a social partner outweigh the costs of, of punishing in the short term. Now, I think it's really important to distinguish here between what we might think of as an, an ultimate mechanism, so um, costly signaling as a mechanism through which our taste for outrage evolved, how natural selection over the course of history endowed us with the, the propensity to res respond with outrage to moral violations. Um, that needs to be distinguished from proximate mechanisms for outrage in the moment um, and, and why people punish wrongdoing in the moment. Virtue signaling gets a bad rap because it's a quite cynical take on outrage ex expression, right? It, it's sort of like there is there is a perspective on virtue signaling where um, if you're accused of virtue signaling, it's almost like being accused of lying or being disingenuous. Like, you're not really outraged about that thing. The reason you're expressing outrage is because you want to signal your virtuous character to others. And I think that's, I think that could explain some outrage expressions, but I, I think it's unlikely to ex explain most. I, I think people who are expressing outrage on social media are, are, are genuine. And I, I think genuine feelings of outrage and a sense of injustice is likely to explain the vast majority of those expressions in the proximate sense. That still leaves open the possibility that the reason we evolved a taste for, for outrage, the reason we respond to injustice in the way that we do is because over the course of evolutionary history, our ancestors who did that were more popular and had more offspring, and that's why now most people will respond with outrage to uh, perceptions of moral violations. So, you know, I, I think it's really important not to confuse the ultimate and the proximate when explaining human behavior. And just because virtue signaling could be an explanation for why we have outrage, that doesn't mean that every time outrage is expressed, people are actively thinking about their reputation. And it's, it's an open question what is motivating outrage expression in the moment. Outrage expression is a multiply determined kind of, of behavioral expression. It could be motivated by reputation and also a genuine sense of injustice, and also you know just like a, a sense of just desert, wanting to take revenge on that person. You know there are many motivations that can give rise, rise to shaming, punishment behavior, and outrage expression in general. And probably in the mind of any individual expressing outrage in a given moment, there are going to be lots of different motivations operating: some above consciousness, some below consciousness, and and you know that's not even to speak of of the possibility that some of these expressions are habitual, which is to say, like maybe not even based in emotion at all, but just a, a behavioral sort of tapping the retweet button, because in the past, when you retweeted 
outrageous expressions, you got likes for it, and there's now a stimulus response link somewhere in your brain that makes that more likely response to that stimulus in the future.